all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So make sure you ask your question and then use your intuition to select your reading. We have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have an intuitive selection method picked out, go ahead and select your reading and I'll see you there. For anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, Open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the Lemurian Quartz. Your first message of the reading is to practice patience. So you're going to need your patience for whatever you're asking Tarot about. Now let's take a look. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards answering yes or no for group number one. All right, so you start with the Priestess, and then the Ace of Wands, beautiful. Ace of Coins, lovely. All right, we got the Three of Swords, so we'll get some Moonology for that one. Hey, man. All right, this looks like a yes. There is possibly some heartbreak in what you're asking, and there is possibly some delays. So if you're asking with a timing, then the hanging man comes out and says, okay, there's delays. It's not going to happen within that time frame. The priestess talks about following your intuition. So your intuition is spot on. Really follow that gut feeling. You've got a new beginning you're passionate about. Some of you, you've got a new beginning that's financial or material in nature for others of you. And some of you, it's both. There is some heartbreak in whatever you're asking tarot. So just take it as it resonates and then there is some need for a different perspective or some delays with the hanging man. Now, I would like to, like you got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. I want to see what the angels have to add to your reading, and then we'll get Moonology for that Three of Swords. So, from the angels, for the best benefit of Group 1, you get show justice. So, really be balanced, be fair with yourself. You know, it, whatever heartbreak you're feeling here, you know you have to go through heartbreak sometimes. But we'll see how you can step out of it with the Moonology. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, how do they step out of this Three of Swords? The answers you need are coming. Okay. 
All right, let's 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 get Moonology for the Hanging Man, too. Confidence is your key to success. All right, you need to be confident in yourself. You know, you will move into the beginning that you are asking about. You know, many of you are asking about a beginning with these two aces coming out. So lots of new beginnings. There may be some heartbreak. You're going to see how to get out of the heartbreak when it starts. So, you know, whatever you have to feel, whatever you have to go through, it's part of your journey. It's part of all of our journeys to experience some heartbreak. But you've got a brand new beginning that is beautiful. Now, I would like to get Queen of the Moon for the Priestess. So, Queen of the Moon... resilience all right so you have the resilience for this new beginning now let's get some spell casting oracle for the two aces so these new beginnings these aces the passionate beginning in the ace of wands first off so for this passionate beginning you got more justice you got justice and justice there's balance needed here and things are going to take a little bit of time but you've got justice coming out in spades and then closure. So there will be some closure. You're going to have a financial beginning that is beautiful. So just take whatever resonates, whether you're asking about creative projects, relationships with the Ace of Wands, something that relates to your finances with the Ace of Coins. Your intuition is guiding you. You have the resilience to move forward. Definitely be fair and bring some balance in. Whenever this heartbreak starts for you, whatever this heartbreak is about, the answers you need are there. You need a different perspective and let confidence guide you to success. Now, let's take a look at what the little starseed deck has to add. So, let's... All right, you start with truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. All right. So, know how strong you are. Know you can move into this new beginning Next, you get love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. All right, so there's a lot going on about truth here. And finally, you get creation. Being creative is a wonderful way to witness the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. All right, so something creative is going to be very beneficial for all of you. Whatever creative passion you have, throw love at all the situations and really try to live your truth. Show justice and fairness to you. Whatever you feel, let yourself feel it. But know that the answers you need to keep your thoughts positive are coming. All right. You got a yes to whatever you ask, Tarot, but please take it as it resonates. All right. That is all I have for reading number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your Tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the pyrite. Your first message of the reading is to let the money flow in, so be a money magnet. Now, let's take a look at your tarot to see if you got a yes or no to whatever you asked. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer yes or no clearly through the cards for group number two. All right. You start with strength. That's beautiful. And then the devil. Okay. The four of coins. The nine of coins. And the Eight of Cups. All right. So for those of you asking money questions, this looks like a yes. You're being told to not hang on to your money so tightly that you have the strength that you should reward yourself with some luxuries to let the money flow in. Now, for those of you asking other questions, questions about love, things like that, you have the strength to deal with the fact that this makes you feel like you're in a cage. Like the devil is coming out with a, with a kind of strong no for some of you. So just take whatever resonates. Like I know the finance questions look good. Like it's definitely a yes for finance, job, that sort of question. 
whatever question that makes you feel like you are in a cage, that makes you feel like you can't get out, the answer is no. There's a natural ending coming, and that's going to lead you to a better path. So please just take whatever resonates. Now, let's see what the angels have to add for reading to you because there's a wide variety of people in this reading. So angels for the best benefit of reading to you. All right, you get generosity. Generosity is being poured out on you. So some of you, you know, I think some of you may want the no, the people that are getting the no that are here because a lot of you asking finance, job, that sort of question, and the answer is yes. Generosity is being pulled out in this reading, just poured out for everybody. Now, I want to get Moonology for this devil. So let's see what Moonology has to say about the devil. Bring love into the situation. All right. So like I said, I did feel like this was a no to some love questions. Um, there needs to be more love in whatever situations making you feel trapped. You need to love yourself enough to get out of this cage. So just, again, take what resonates. You all know what reason brought you here. So just take whatever resonates for you. Now let's get Queen of the Moon for the Strength card. That is you having the strength to deal with whatever is in front of you right now. And it's also beauty. You are strong and beautiful and can deal with anything in front of you. Whatever this devil is for you, whatever makes you feel trapped and stuck, just know that the, um, you know, everything, everything's going to be okay. You are strong enough to step out of this. Now, I would also like to get Queen of the Moon for the Eight of Cups. Ooh, so there's a natural ending that's going to bring you pleasure. So that is awesome. You know, whatever this ending is, whatever the devil is, and the devil can be anything that makes you feel trapped. It can be anything from, you know, love triangles to betrayals to that sort of thing. You know, there is, it's pretty broad, but it's definitely the feeling of being trapped. Now, let's see what the spell casting oracle has to say about the four of coins career all right so you've got stable foundations in your career like i was saying those of you asking career money questions looks good looks stable for this nine of coins where you need to reward yourself you get dreams all right so whatever it is you're dreaming of whatever it is you think you know really reward yourself with something that is significant for you you can do it. It's going to help open the doors for finances for you. Now, again, do things within your own, like do things within your realm of, of good common sense. Okay. Don't, don't do anything crazy, but definitely do something to reward yourself financially. And for those of you that need to step out of this stuck energy of the devil, this crazy caged energy, just bring love into the situation. It's going to help. Now, let's see what the little spirit guide, their little starseed deck has to add. You start with earth guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So you are beautiful and strong and here to simply love and be loved. That's amazing. Now, next you get patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So if this career doesn't walk through the door for you today, it's coming. Be patient. The, the world is working with you. The universe is working with you. Finally, you get courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Something is going to end. You're going to need to bring your courage to the table, your strength and determination. But whatever this ending is, it's going to bring you pleasure. It's going to be a good, good thing. All right. So... You got a yes for most of you. A couple of you got a no. Please take whatever resonates with you. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the sunstone. Your first message of the reading is to take pleasure in the things you do. So let yourself enjoy life a little. Take pleasure in what you're doing. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards answering yes or no for group number three.
All right, you start with Judgment, so that's a second chance. The Magician, that's very nice. Wow, Ace of Wands and the Empress. And the Page of Wands. All right, this is an absolute yes to whatever you ask, Tarot. You got second chances coming through. You got you manifesting the life you want with the Magician. So manifestations happening, you using your talents for those manifestations. You've got new beginnings, some of which include male fertility. So just take whatever resonates because you've got motherhood coming out with the Empress as well. So some of you talking about expanding your family. Um, this is very foundational too. So not everyone is having a baby, obviously. But, uh, but there's new beginnings that are going to be foundational. And then there's a reunion for some of you. So some of you asking, am I going to get back with this person? Am I going to see this person again? Are we going to make up? And the answer looks like an absolute yes. This is absolutely beautiful. Now let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. You get kindness. So yeah, let the kindness flow. Be grateful as well. But show kindness in everything you do. Now, I want to get Queen of the Moon for Judgment and the Magician. And possibly the Empress, too. In fact, we'll do Queen of the Moon for all the major arcana. So starting with Judgment. Ooh, you get the masculine. Look at that. So you guys are bringing the energy to the party for this second chance. Now, for the Magician, where you're manifesting, you're manifesting abundance. It could be abundance of wealth. It could be abundance of love. Abundance is just exactly that. It's abundance. So you are manifesting abundance. That's beautiful. Now for the Empress assessing. So some of you are still assessing whether or not you want to go into the motherhood factor. And that's okay. You know, some of you are just now assessing it because I mentioned it. Now it's, you know, assess assess what this means to you. This is very foundational. You're taking care of on a foundational level. So really look at where you're being taken care of and be grateful to the universe for exactly that. Now from the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, I'd like to pull from the Spellcasting Oracle. Ooh, protection. So in this new beginning, you are protected. I can't help but notice that, again, the protection, she looks pregnant with the world. So I'm just saying, you know, some of you definitely getting the, the yes to the pregnancy thing. I am not a doctor. Please see a doctor, healthcare professional. You know, this is just a tarot reading, but it definitely looks positive. Now let's take a look at the page of, oh, page of wands is beauty. There's going to be a beautiful reunion. Something is going to come back to you that is just absolutely beautiful. Now to go with your yes, let's get a few of the little star seed cards. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors for the best benefit of group number three. All right. You start with inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So bring love into the situation. Let the fear go. Next, you get inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So know that you are protected as you go into this new beginning, but keep those thoughts positive. You are projecting what's inside your mind into the world. Now, you also get reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. That's going to go with this beauty. Some of you, you are just absolutely beautiful, beautiful creatures. You do not need to worry about being beautiful enough for whatever this reunion is. You need to see inside yourself and see your amazing beauty that you're bringing to the table. Because this is absolutely beautiful. All of it is so beautiful. All right, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Appetite Crystal. Your first message of the reading is to get out of your comfort zone. So yeah, whatever the answer to your question is, it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. So just prepare yourself. Now let's take a look to see whether you get a yes or a no to whatever you ask tarot. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards. Yes or no for group number four.
All right, you start with the Ten of Coins, then the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Coins. This looks like a beautiful yes. Like there is definitely, you need to wait and assess the options with this Seven of Cups coming out. So this may not be your best option, but it's definitely an option for whatever you're asking. There is some reminiscing, looking back, seeing all the growth. There's abundance in the Ten of Coins. A new beginning that's like a gift from the divine and something of an emotional nature in the Ace of Cups. And then new opportunities that you will take with the Page of Coins. So you got a beautiful yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Just please be sure and wait for the right option. You know, let the options manifest in front of you and wait and choose the right one. Now from the angels, you get show justice. So make sure you're balanced, pay attention to balance. You know, don't overwork yourself. Just, you know, take what resonates, but definitely make sure you're balanced. Now I would like Moonology for that Seven of Cups. So for this waiting for the good option, the Seven of Cups, please Moonology, what is there to add? All right, it's a time for healing. So this time period where you're waiting for this perfect option to come in, it's to give you time to heal for it. Now, I'd like uh, Moonology for the Six of Cups as well. Yep, you get surrendered to the divine. So as you look back, as you reminisce, as you see how far you've come, you know, as you step into whatever this perfect good option is for you, surrender to the divine, really surrender to the universe. Let the universe flow around you. You're getting this healing time for a reason. Now, let's get Queen of the Moon to talk about that abundance and the Ten of Coins. So, from Queen of the Moon, please. You get nourishment. All right, yeah, your soul is being nourished. There's an abundance of nourishment for your soul, for your body, for your mind. It's just, you know, this is a good time for you. Now, Queen of the Moon for the Ace of Cups as well. This new beginning blossoming yep you're yeah you're just growing you're blossoming this is a fantastic path to be on now for the opportunities that are kind of come in with the page of coins let's see what the spell casting oracle has to say career all right yeah you're gonna have career opportunities so some of you asking about career things job things, financial things. Yes, yes, everything looks good. Just make sure you're waiting for the option that is best for you. Now, let's see what the little star seed deck has to add for you. So you start with Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So take it as it resonates, but that's why you're here. Next, you get no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. So heal yourself, step into your best options, and know that you are absolutely limitless. And finally, you get ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. That's going to go over here with your career. It's, you know, life path oriented. You are just evolving. You are moving on to the next step and it's going to be beautiful. Whether it's in your career, whether it's spiritually, whether it's in your family, whatever it is, you got a beautiful yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your Tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the black tourmaline. Your first message of the reading is to protect your energy, so you might want to slip a piece of black tourmaline in your pocket. Just take whatever resonates, but, uh, but yeah, it's important to protect that energy. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards, yes or no, for group number five. All right, you start with the five of wands, the nine of swords, the priestess, 
the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands. All right, this looks like a no to whatever you asked, Tarot. Your intuition is going to lead you to a better option for you. And there is good news coming, but whatever you ask, Tarot, the answer is no. There's fighting involved in the Five of Wands, a period of anxiety or sleeplessness, insomnia in the Nine of Coins, trusting your intuition in the Priestess, some depression and looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have in the Five of Cups. And then you have the Three of Wands in your final position, which is travel and good news coming in. So there is good news coming in, but the answer to whatever you ask Tarot is no. Now, let's take a look at what the angels have to add to your reading. So, angels, for group number five, you get forgiveness. So, forgive yourself, forgive others, whatever's putting you into this heavier energy, just, you know, forgive it and move on from it. Now, let's get Moonology for all the heavy energy. So, for the five of wands, the nine of swords, and the five of cups, we'll start with the five of wands. You get work through your fears. So where this fighting is happening, work through your fears. You're going to be okay. For the anxiety, take time to breathe. All right, breathe through this period of anxiety. It's going to be okay. Like, uh, you know, those of you that are really struggling, just work through your fears and take some time to breathe. Now, for this Five of Cups where you're looking at what you have lost versus looking at what you still have, your conclusions are within reach. You can be grateful for what you still have and bring more of the good things in your life to you. You just have to make the conclusion that you want to do that. Now, for the priestess, and I know some of you wanted a no, so congratulations on your no if you were wanting a no. The no cards are a little bit dark, so just you know, take whatever resonates with you. All right, for the priestess, you get creation, so you are creating your universe you are, you know, follow that intuition as you create the universe you want to live in. You've got good news coming in. I'd like to take a look at what this good news is with the spellcasting oracle. So it's reconciliation. So some of you are reconciling with relationships. Some of you are, you know, getting back together with family people. Take it however it resonates, but there's a reconciliation coming for you, which is going to be great. Now, let's see what the Little Star Seed deck has to add to your reading. So, for the best benefit of group number five, you know what, we'll take that one too. Okay. Creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So, spend some time being creative. You also get stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. And then you get abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. So you may reconcile, in fact, with your own abundance. But you are going to move to a, a place of good news and wonderful things that's just no to whatever you ask, Tarot. You know, the answer to this one is no. All right. That is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.